Record rainfall today in Austin in the middle of a severe drought. Camp Mabry got almost three inches of rain. That broke a 100-year-old record. Hard rain stunned drivers on their morning commute. Several serious accidents causing traffic nightmares all over town. High winds gusting, downing some tree branches and power lines. About 12,000 customers lost power in Austin at the peak today. Right now, crews are still working to get power back on at about 2,400 homes. Jim Spencer joins us now from the First Morning Weather Center with more on this record-breaking storm. Jim? Yeah, this is so interesting, the coincidence. 100 years ago today is when the May 12 record for rainfall was established in the city at Camp Mabry, and today we broke it. 2.96 inches is how much fell today at Camp Mabry, a new record for the 12th of May. 1.66 out at the airport also broke a 1980 record. So believe it or not, we actually have a surplus now for the month of May, about an inch and a fifth. But look at the overall picture there. The deficit since last October one is still 11 inches. So by no means does this end our drought. In fact, many locations today didn't get anywhere near three inches, not even near an inch. We're going to talk about where those spots are in just a minute. But as you can see, those storms now are long gone to the coast. Our David Scott has been bouncing around all over town today reporting on the storm's impacts this morning. David, uh, you're live at Shoal Creek now. How's the water flowing there? It looks a little different than usual, Jim, I'll tell you that. Lord knows we needed the rain, but this kind of fell into the careful what you wish for category. And if you think this section of Shoal Creek is impressive, let me show you what it looked like a couple hours ago from the 9th Street Bridge. Water flowing at full blast, going over the banks, carrying along assorted debris. This intense four-hour storm knocked out power for about 12,000 people. Utility crews are still scrambling. Two Eanes District schools lost their power, but they kept open on generators. And there was some flooding as well. The Orleans Court townhomes on Manor Road got hit when a drainage line on the road above their property got clogged up. And all of a sudden, it left those folks with apartments filled with water and mud. The best place to watch all this today, perhaps the dry comfort of the Shoal Creek Saloon. I'd say it's about 25 to 30 feet high right now. Usually it's two feet down there, and you can see the fish and the frogs everywhere. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Today is special for you. Yes, sir, it is. It was my birthday. When I blew out the candle last night, I wished for rain, and this is what we got. So my boss brought me out to celebrate. We, we need Brian to wish for rain a little more often, but maybe not quite so much all at one time. Power is still out for about 2,900 people at this hour. Austin Energy Utility crew still at it, working into the evening. They hope to have everyone back on the juice very soon. Along Shoal Creek, David Scott, KXAN Austin News.